Hey, what's going on, everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And today we're talking about Jocelyn, the full trailer of Jocelyn's Cabaret New York trailer reaction. If you have not seen the trailer, the full trailer is now on Zeus Network app. So if you want to check that out, the trailer is over there. Now, I've watched the trailer a few times now and I'm ready to give you guys my thoughts on it now in this um, video this is commentary on the trailer I will not be showing the trailer but I will be speaking on highlights from the trailer okay if you are new to the channel welcome if you are familiar to the channel welcome back like the video share the video and subscribe i just want to give a special shout out to everyone who's been rocking with me and the channel for a while now i just want to say thank you and let's get it going now let's jump straight into it i have to say seeing jocelyn back i am excited for the show you know looking at the trailer it looks good it looks bigger it looks brighter. It looks like it's going to be dancing. It's going to be a narrative. Of course, it's going to be brawls. But I like how Jocelyn said in this trailer, she said that she focuses on elevation. She said she wanted this season to be all about elevating. Now, of course, they're going to have a lot of their familiar antics, but I do like that she wants to elevate her brand and make it bigger and bigger. You know what I'm saying? Her check is up, if you will. Yes. So seeing Jocelyn back, I was excited. Ballistics, not so much, but I know they're a package deal. And um, he's going to be with her. Return of the OGs. Yes, I do like that Zeus highlighted in the trailer all the returning girls we will be seeing throughout the trailer they do highlight these ladies in different ways it seems like zeus may have gotten a new editor i don't know but it just was given mentorship it was given we've been through this let me let me teach you something to the new girls and stuff like that um am i surprised by any of the faces absolutely um, of course, this cast reveal is not new to me. If you are familiar to the channel, you know we broke this tea months ago. But for the public, um, it's exciting, you know, to see a lot of these women return. Of course, it's other people we would love to come back, but you know how those relationships go, so... The fans were really excited to see the girls return as well. So I'm glad that they highlighted that in a video as well. It looks like the auditions and the show are not going to be separate. I don't know if Zeus is going to separate it later. But as of right now, it looks like the auditions and the show are all merged together. Ah, we'll see. I'm like, I'm wondering, do they need that together to fill out the show? Was the season cut short after the big Lex altercation? What happened? But it is the merging it together. So it is what it is. But you know, Jocelyn's show has never ever had like a separate audition thing. She did have a thing separately where she would look at audition tapes, but she's never like held in person audition. So this one was really exciting. Um, but I'm happy to see it. Either way, I'm happy that we do get to see the auditions diamond and raven what are my thoughts of them in the trailer well we only see diamond this one time now raven we see a lot more in the trailer than diamond but how do i feel about their return well i knew they were coming back because out of everyone who left vegas it was lollipop um diamond and raven and a girl jordan who were left to dance with jocelyn well Jordan left on her own after she realized how, what it mean to roll with Jocelyn. And Lollipop was kicked out. So I knew it was only going to be Diamond and Raven. But I do know, T, that, um, you know, they may not last the whole season. So we'll see if that's true. But seeing them back, I'm not surprised. One person who is really surprising and, like, it looks like even Jocelyn is surprised to see her is girl lucky hustler a lot of people are so surprised to see that she's back um lucky did speak out saying that she is back and she says she knows some people are surprised but she feels like she's really talented i'm gonna show you guys what lucky had to say tonight 
because she was flooded with DMs, fans questioning her loyalty. Child, get into what um, Lucky Hustler had to say. Shout out to Zeus Hottest Tea. Lucky Hustler explains why she chose to return to Jocelyn's house in Jocelyn's Cabaret season four. Let's get into it, y'all. So I went back because I am talented. You know, I am talented. I do have business and stuff now. I've been doing, I've been dealing with Jocelyn for for so long. Like, it's kind of like whatever to me. But, of course, it was really messy um, because we're dealing with, like, okay, if she's beefing with my friend, I guess I just wasn't sure how bad, how bad, how much really could, could I be? If y'all have, if y'all have followed my story since season one, y'all know where I'm from. Slappy. So how can we make you feel more at home? Like, I don't feel the need to. Okay, after watching that clip, how do I feel about Lucky's response? Um, I still feel like she um, feels in the middle. And this is what I mean. When she said that she's returning because she has businesses and I am super talented, but when it came to her beefing with my friends, it's just becoming really messy and complicated. I know what you're saying, Lucky. And this is why I'm saying Lucky's torn. Lucky see a check when it come to Jocelyn, but Lucky over the years has built a fan base and part of the fan community came from them you know, kind of choosing her over Jocelyn because they felt like Jocelyn had some messed up ways. Now, in the fact that they saying now, Lucky talking about I went back because the opportunity, you know, fans are torn, but I get why Lucky feels like she's in the middle because it's like you need to run your bag up, but you also don't want to seem like, a, um, you know what I'm saying, somebody fake to your fans. So she was speaking soft in some parts of the video and then other parts she wasn't. I feel like she did it to explain it but then she also probably felt like why am i explaining anything i mean lucky i'm happy to see your return try not to let these people chew you up and spit you out um do you make it through the whole show you know i would like to know that as well but i am excited to see lucky's return this is another big controversial one um, but I am glad to see her return. Someone else that I'm excited to see and showed off in this trailer is Miss Natural. Miss Natural is showing the girls that not only she may be running the house, but it looked like she ain't nothing to be played with. Now, now most person I've seen uh, Miss Natural getting into it with in this trailer is Yummy P. But it was another girl in the trailer that was getting on Miss Natural nerves and Miss Natural like banged her hands on the table. I'm really wondering if Miss Natural gonna be big dog in the house. What y'all think? I'm curious to see if Miss Natural gonna be big dog in the house. Look y'all, we got Natural doing athleticisms, leaps, bounds, curls, rolls to get up to Yummy P. This is her getting to Yummy. I'm excited to see it. Natural's return, why she returned. That's another controversial return. If you guys don't know, Miss Natural and Jocelyn is another duo that did not end on good terms. Um, but I am excited to see her return and see the energy she's going to bring. She's also another very talented woman. And just like Lucky, I'm sure she sees this as an opportunity to use and grow her business and further brand herself, honestly. Now, Daisy, I am excited to see her return because when I originally heard that Daisy was returning, I didn't believe it. I was like, why would Daisy come back after her and Jocelyn fought in the dressing room? But other girls have returned who got into it with Jocelyn. So I'm just like, Daisy, you know, is no never mind, if you will. But I will tell you this, I am excited to see what Daisy is going to bring to the season because season one, it was her and Chazity. 
So it was kind of like she was a duo her first season. You see what I'm saying? So this will be the first season. I'm assuming she's standing on her own. And I'll get to see Daisy's full personality, possibly. Not that I didn't before. I don't think she was not being herself. But it's different when a person is on a show with a friend versus when they're on there alone. So maybe we'll see some new interesting facts on Daisy. Yummy P. Yes, Yummy P mentoring the girls. Another part of the trailer that I really did like was Yummy P is seen talking to Abby, of course, one of the newer girls to the house. And Yummy's basically telling her, don't trust none of these hoes. These hoes don't got your back and they will run up for your spot anytime. But I do like that we see a maturity level to Yummy P. She's more in her doctor bag if you will you know she's mentoring the girls so possibly yummy is returning to further her brand you know maybe she wants to show that she is a dancer but yummy has a heart as well so i am excited to see her return and if she's going to be more in the mentor position i will be happy to see it you know what i'm saying yummy definitely showed off on season two so it's interesting to see her back and she definitely was a sleeper queen of her season because i did not see that season finale of season two coming the way she showed off but she showed off so i'm excited to see what she's gonna bring um i'm not excited for all her fights yes it's one person she's getting into it with that i'm like oh man i'm gonna have to place a better two but I am excited to see her return. How y'all feeling about Yummy P and um, some of these returning ladies? Let me know in the comment section below how y'all feeling about that. And do you have questions for the girls? So now we moving on to Miss Wet Wet. Never thirsty because I stay wet. Yes! Miss Wet Wet is returning and it doesn't look like she's come back to play. Miss Wet Wet is definitely teaching the girls a thing or two this season. Now, besides getting into brawls and things like that, it does look like Wet Wet is going to get emotional throughout the season. Um, her and a young lady are seen having a conversation and Wet Wet is opening up to the young lady saying, you know, my life hasn't been easy. You're talking to a girl who has to, who has had to raise herself. And she starts to get emotional talking to the young lady. I don't know what they're talking about, but um, I never seen Wet Wet get that vulnerable. I know last season on Vegas, she wasn't really vulnerable telling her story, but when she told about, you know, living in and out of shelters and that she's been homeless for, you know, a couple years and stuff like that, it came out, but during a fight, you know, you had to really listen to get that tea or when after the fight, you had to listen to her talk to kind of get that info. But it looks like this time around, she's opening up to another girl. And I don't know the basis of the conversation, but Wet Wet does get emotional this season so, so to see a different side to her this season to me shows growth and it actually brings interest for people who enjoy her character and her personality on the show so i'm interested in seeing the original wet jocelyn 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 welcome to vegas baby well welcome to ny baby yes it looks like in the trailer new i said new york jocelyn does get emotional while in new york um talking about her losing trans friends and this comes from abby speaking something to jocelyn and the rest of the girls while they're at dance practice and jocelyn breaks down starts to get emotional and says that she has lost trans friends and she has learned from trans friends saying that some of her trans friends have um taught her their experience and she said she understands the warfare in their head and i do think surprisingly jocelyn's being honest because i do think jocelyn is a heavy thinker i do and i know some people may be some i do i do think she thinks a lot in her head um you know she is a water sign believe it or not and she does feel deeply so even though she pops off and this and that I've heard stories of her being sweet. I heard stories of her being mean. You see what I'm saying? So she brings it all to the table. Jocelyn's saying her friends in the community have helped her understand. So I can appreciate them putting that in. And in the midst of 
fans being outraged and calling Jocelyn, you know, homophobic or anti-LGBT. They put the clip in to kind of show y'all she ain't really mad at the community. But I'm just saying, expect to see her talking about those things more this season. Now, while we talking about Jocelyn, y'all, let's talk about Jocelyn and Raven, honey. It looks like Jocelyn and Raven are getting to physical blows this season. And this... Sometimes I wonder, y'all, because me and some of my friends were talking today, like, do these people get set up? Now, I know what y'all may be thinking. Is it the casting crew? No. I think some people know certain people are going to be put in certain situations. I think they knew Diamond and Raven weren't going to be the breakout stars of this season, but they needed some girls for the cameras. I feel like if it's not a valid reason why Raven and Jocelyn really got into it, I'm going to believe it was for clicks and views. The Big Lex situation, I low-key feel like that's for clicks and views. So what did Raven really do? I don't know, but you can see Raven has already been crying. You can see the tears running down her face. And of course, we know in the next scene, Jocelyn's going to snatch her up, grab her up, take her down to the ground. So we'll see what's going on there, but they then gave Raven whole story away in the trailer. We see her on a plane with the girls, then we see her here. So I don't know, but yeah, she definitely coming back, and her and Jocelyn getting active. Speaking of getting active, you're still mad. Yummy P is really fighting this season. Okay. So from the trailer, I've already seen Yummy P versus, um, what's her name? Miss Natural. And it looks like she's going to be fighting other girls as well. Now, before in the video trailer, the teaser we got, I was like, I don't know who wig that is because the girl next to Yummy and then Yummy front of back, their wigs, you know, I couldn't tell. But after watching this full one, Yummy P also is going to get into it with Wet Wet. And it looks like it's one of those chaotic attacks that she does. Uh-huh. Because if you guys did not watch season two, Yummy P is a sleeper queen. And when I say that, she's somebody you gotta watch. She's someone who will come and bring you your plate of food. But if she remembers something you did to her, she going, you know, she may just pop you randomly. And this scene right here with her versus Wet Wet is giving me a random attack, but maybe her and Wet, oh yes. Her and Wet Wet are gonna get into it in a car ride over. Yes, you know what's funny? Both of them are Virgos, which is crazy to me that they fighting like this. But um, Wet Wet was in a car, like opening and closing her legs in front of Yummy P. And Yummy P was like, mm, not ladylike, you're trash like that. <laughs> not ladylike and you're trash like that to wet 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 said what's trash huh what's trash and was opening and closing her legs yo this is gonna be funny because like the one thing about an earth sign we can really agitate a person and and them both being earth signs i'm not surprised and this might be early on on the show i'm not surprised mm -hmm. i'm not surprised but this is gonna be hard for me to pick because i kind of you know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, Miss Wet Wet to me is more the personality. But Yummy P is more of a shocker queen. You know, you just never know what Yummy. That's why I be like, oh, God. But this is going to be a tough one for me to choose. But of course, I'm going to give you all the deeper details when this happened. And we going to, you know, let it be known. But hopefully Wet Wet ready for her and did some research. Because this girl pops up like a cat. Wow. Mm -hmm. One of the last scenes in the trailer is the big Lex brawl. <sighs> a part of me still feels like that girl was used as a finale. They said we really need something to wrap up this season. What can we do? Well, let's bring back Jocelyn's biggest enemy of all. Who? Big Lex. Yes. So the fact that that will be in it, you know what I'm saying? Not surprised. I feel like it was still used as, you know, film. I really do. I'd be surprised if it wasn't all set up. But yes, my thoughts on this trailer, because it pretty much goes off after that, is that it's good. It's exciting. It's good to see Jocelyn back in her element. Um, everyone is looking good. Looks like everyone is feeling good. 
Um, it looks bigger. It looks cleaner. It looks crisper. I don't know if they're using different cameras, but this season of Jocelyn looks like more money went into it. The fact that you were able to bring back OGs and fill up the house with new girls as well. Now, let's be real. I'm not saying that they spent top dollar on the OGs, but I'm sure them reaching out to them, some maybe were able to negotiate things and some weren't. You see what I'm saying? Um, because I do believe Zeus may have reached out to more people. I'm still doing research on that because, you know, people don't like to come forward if they wasn't the ones picked. But I still do believe that partially that they reached out to more girls than ended up on cast. I really do. I really do. Y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Did you watch the trailer? Do you agree with my thoughts? What are your thoughts? <laughs> Comment below and let me know. Stay locked to the channel and I will keep you up to date on all the latest tea. The premiere date is July 23rd. I will be doing a full recap breakdown of the season. We will be following the show. And of course, y'all know I will be following the cast and the tea and stuff like that. And you know me, keeping you entertained, if you will. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. Let me know what you guys thought. And remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.